Hi, I'm Dave Yance again here from the Heating and Refrigeration Program at the Kansas City, Kansas Community College Tech Center. Today we're going to set the gas pressures on a gas valve on a furnace. And what I have here is a standard gas valve and it's this component here but I'm going to show you how I'm going to adjust it because once I get in here you can't see that. Uh, I'm going to hook in this port here a barb fitting where I'll hook up this rubber hose to this water column gauge so I can check the gas pressure. Then on this side of the gas valve this big screw here comes out and down in that hole is another screw and that's the screw that I will turn counterclockwise to decrease the pressure clockwise to increase the pressure. So let's take a look at how this is going to work. I take a service wrench and I'll remove the plug in the gas valve. Then I have a barb fitting that I'll screw into there. That will allow me to hook my gauge up to the system. This is my water column gauge. The rubber hose fits on that barb fitting there. And if you look at the gauge, there are red numbers on the outside, black numbers on the inside. And down here it says in red, inches of water column. So we're going to be reading the red numbers out here. And the manufacturer's rating for gas pressure is three and a half inches of water column. So that's going to be about halfway between the two and the four. So we will get ready to turn this on. Now, when the gas valve opens and the flame comes on, you'll see this needle move up uh, to whatever it's set at. I have my screwdriver that I'll put down in that hole in the back and adjust it. So let's see what happens here. The igniter's coming on, so it's getting ready to light. When the gas valve open the flame lit you can see we're running a little below three inches on the water column scale and if I put my screwdriver take the cap off now I can put my screwdriver down in that hole and then find the screw and let's see here if I turn it clockwise You'll see the pressure, we're up to about three. And I'll turn it a little more. I have now brought the gas pressure up to three and a half inches of water column, which gives us the correct gas pressure so we have the proper combustion and the correct efficiency for this furnace. So once I have it set, I can shut it off. And it, once it is shut off, then I can remove my fittings. take my plug and that is fine thread so I don't really need to put any thread dope or anything on there. It's a tapered thread fitting and tighten it with my wrench. And Put the cap back on the set screw, like that, and we have completed this task. So now the furnace is setting right. This is a task that we do when we put in a new furnace to check the gas pressure 
and should we ever change this gas valve in repair, we would check the gas pressure again. It does come factory set from the factory at three and a half inches of water column. That's our video for today on checking gas pressures.